everyone and welcome to Masi's Corner. My name is Masi. If you're new here, welcome. I hope you're here to stay. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Today's video will be another one in the DIY series. I'll be taking you through how I made a skirt from scratch, A to Z dorks. Um, this is actually my second attempt at making the skirt. My first time was an absolute disaster. Um, the skirt turned out to be way too small, too short also. Um, yeah, it is quite challenging to do that, to make that one. Um, but it was a learning experience and I decided to try again. And what you'll be seeing in this video is my second attempt at doing this. Um, yeah i had fun doing this and um i hope you enjoy the video so let's get into it yeah when i cut out the pattern the first time i was a bit shy to make sort of curves in the um in the on the actual paper um i wasn't too sure how to do it i wasn't too sure weight the measurement it was just look <laughs> i didn't know what to do so i kind of sort of drew straight lines and that obviously didn't work um, because that didn't account for the um, um, waist to hip ratio so this time what I did was um, I measured out uh, my waist and then I measured my hips the widest part of my hips and then I sort of measured um, the distance between the waist and the hips so that I can kind of see where to create that little curvature you know and yeah I think uh, it worked out well Okay, so over here we're cutting the fabric. One thing I'd say to note when cutting fabric is just to make sure that it's held tight um, so that it doesn't bunch up and mess up with your cutting. And um, my fabric uh, had frayed ends on the one end, so I just cut that off. I just took a, a little bit off that one side so that I have a straight, clean cut. Okay, so over here, I'm sewing uh, sort of very wide stitches on the fabric um, 
where I've marked off that I'm gonna sew uh, the seam. This is to uh, allow me to fit on the garment um, to make sure that my seam allowance is correct, um, to make sure that I've measured correctly to see how it's gonna fit. If I need to make the, the seams smaller, bigger, Okay, so because I made the stitches really long, um, they're loose, right? So the ends of the fabric, um, then they don't come together really nicely. So I just put safety pins on there. And I noticed that it was, the fabric was kind of falling apart halfway down the skirt. So I put a safety pin there also, just to secure the fabric for fitting. Okay, so here I'm just removing the those hand stitches. It is pretty easy to do. I could do most of them by hand uh, because they were pretty wide. Yeah, so that was quite easy. Okay, so over here I'm just gonna stack one piece of fabric on top of the other, um, putting them face to face. Uh, the aim is to pin them down and um, sort of mark out the seam allowance uh, so that I know where to sew. So over here I'm just measuring out a seam allowance of one and a half centimeters and because this piece is the uh, uh, middle of the back I have the liberty of drawing um, the, the seam allowance of mine with the ruler because it's a straight piece but um, on the other side I had to just freehand and use the little markings to guide me and over here I'm just pinning the fabric so that it stays in place as I saw. Okay and now we are sewing down those two pieces together um as i go along i just remove the pins before they get under the foot of the machine there um and i make sure to line up uh, my seam allowance line that i marked out i make sure to line that up with the needle of the machine so that i make sure that i'm sewing on the right place okay so over here i'm sewing together um, two of the front pieces so the one side and the middle okay so as you can see there by the corner um, the two pieces are sewn together and now I'm just stacking the third piece on top of the middle piece of fabric and pinning that down to uh, getting ready to sew it together and measuring out the seam allowance and drawing that down. Okay, 
Okay, and now it's time to sew those two pieces together. Um, I didn't film myself installing the zip because um, I was just winging it really. Um, I'll probably film it some other time when I feel a bit more confident about what I'm doing. But yeah, this time I just, yo, I fought with it, hey? I did what I could do. Okay, so what I'm doing over here is on the seams, I'm cutting down half of one of the two pieces of fabric so that we end up with a longer piece of fabric and a shorter one. This is so that we can close up the seams and just make them look cleaner and nicer. Okay, so I've already pressed my seams to one side and the shorter pieces underneath like that. So I'm going to fold over the longer piece and then I'm going to press that down with an iron. Fold that over to hide the rough edges and press that down and then I'm going to sew down that bit. So this is how it looks after I pressed it down and I'm just going to sew down the edge of the seam to close that up. So after fitting on the skirt, I thought it was a little too long, so I opted to cut off um, a bit of the bottom. Um, it was quite raggedy anyway, it was not straight, so I would have had to cut it anyway, yeah, to make that edge nice and straight. Okay, so to him, the edges of the skirt, the top and the bottom, I just folded it over twice and then i pinned it to keep it down so that it doesn't um move or unfold during the sewing process okay over here i am sewing down the bottom of the skirt
Okay, so over here, I'm sewing down the hem at the top of the skirt. Um, with this uh, part, I had to take care to lift the foot of the machine wherever the fabric was too thick. So if I was passing by those seams that I um, sewed earlier on, I have to lift it a little bit. Also, when I get to the zip, I have to lift it uh, because when the fabric is too thick, um, it will not move. So the machine will keep sewing in one place. So I just had to take note of that. Finally, I'm closing up the skirt, so I'm sewing uh, the back and the front on the end that was still open to close it up. After sewing the skirt together, I did a last fitting and I made adjustments to the waist. So I just had to make it a little bit smaller. Um, and I could do that on one side because my measurements showed that I had a bit more, um, you know, space to do at the side. So I just took it in a little bit. I didn't document that, but that's what I did. So it fits almost well. Okay, and that is it for this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed doing this and I can't wait to use the skills that I've learned this time in another project. Um, yeah, please do like and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye!